At the general election, you'll be asked to choose who you want to represent you in government and if you support the referendum to legalise and control cannabis. New Zealand is the first country in the world to ask voters about cannabis legalisation, which is an important decision. The government has drafted a detailed new law called the Cannabis Legalisation and Control Bill, which will reduce harm from cannabis use, promote public health and protect young people. The law proposes strict government rules over who grows and sells cannabis, how and where it's sold, and who can buy and use it. This is why the Drug Foundation is supporting a yes vote. Let's take a closer look at these rules and what you're voting for. Only adults over 20 will be allowed to buy and use cannabis. Teenagers will not be allowed to use cannabis, with tough penalties on retailers that break these rules. Growers will need a license from the Cannabis Regulatory Authority to cultivate cannabis for sale, and only specialist licensed stores will be allowed to sell cannabis in limited amounts. There will be no sales at dairies or near schools, and all staff will be trained to provide health and safety advice. There will be strict regulations around consumer safety to guarantee that you know what's in any cannabis product for sale. Cannabis will be tested to limit the strength, potency and prevent the use of harmful pesticides and chemicals. All of this information will be clearly labelled on plain childproof packaging. No advertising will be allowed and health information will be printed on every product. If these rules are broken, the Cannabis Regulatory Authority can remove a product from sale and issue penalties. Limited home growing will be allowed with a maximum of four plants per household. The police will be given new powers for roadside testing and drug driving will not be tolerated. Consumption will be permitted in private homes and licensed premises, but no one can use or be intoxicated in public, including workplaces. Cannabis sales will be taxed, with one economic think tank estimating that New Zealand could earn almost $500 million a year. A special new cannabis tax will also be introduced and used to fund drug education and health programs. Now you know how cannabis can be controlled. We encourage you to vote yes in the referendum. Make sure you spread the word with your workmates and Farno, And remember to vote yes.